Yeah, the Nigerian Gas Association was set up in 1999 uh, to promote the development of gas as a cleaner alternative to provide energy sources uh, in Nigeria. Today, it's the largest umbrella body of, of gas practitioners cutting across upstream producers, midstream players, people who also play in the power space, and also local contractors who earn their livelihoods by working in the gas sector. Our key, our key sort of mandate is around advocacy. How do we continue to engage critical stakeholders to ensure that the gas utilization in Nigeria increases? Uh, today, we see significant improvement in the gas sector and a lot of activities ongoing in the past two years. Some of this has involved the NGA, but most importantly, we've seen an increased focus by the Nigerian government in sort of changing the narrative, even as we sort of move into a period when gas will serve as a transition fuel for Nigeria. I think it's, it's a pretty simple structure where we have uh, the president of the association. Every two years, we elect a council led by the president. Uh, and then we also then have a wide range of experts who sort of then provide support as part of that uh, two-year council. And then we have members who are corporate and members who are also individuals. We hold our annual AGMs. We run lots of uh, training programs. Today, the NGA is the representative of, of Nigeria at the World Gas Conference, uh, which is at the IGU, the International Gas Union, which is the oldest gas association and union in the world. I think the NGA is collaborating a lot with the government and the industry to partner us to find a way of how we can unlock the domestic gas sector here in, in Nigeria. And of course, it has to be an end-to-end -end activity which involves a full, a full value chain, spanning from the upstream suppliers all the way to the, to the end users. Uh, this takes a lot, of, a lot of work, but at the anchor for us is that we, we've sort of identified seven thematic areas of focus as what we see as what will enable us to sort of focus and deliver the aspirations in the decade of gas. And I think maybe it's just time to maybe just speak a little bit about the, most, the one thing when people talk about gas that is most important to Nigerians. The first one is around how do we solve the gas to power problem. Millions of Nigerians do not have access to reliable electricity supply. We believe that gas can close that gap as a source of energy. And so gas to power is a key thematic area uh, for the NGA. The second area is another area that is also very popular. When people talk about gas in Nigeria, they're talking about cooking gas. Uh, and we're asking ourselves, how do we work with government to ensure that there is reliable and affordable supply of cooking gas in Nigeria? The third bit is around accelerating infrastructure development. You cannot get gas the way it is needed if you do not uh, build the right infrastructure. Uh, and, and there we're seeing how do we accelerate those infrastructure developments, the AKK, the OB drilling lines, but more importantly also how do we partner with virtual pipeline operators who can move gas the way it is needed virtually. Another thematic area has to do with providing the right and stable regulatory framework that would allow investors and players in the gas sectors to thrive. For the NGA, we believe that we need to transition as quickly as possible to a willing buyer, willing seller market. It's fantastic news. The PIA has now been, been sort of passed and enacted into law. And so we're now looking at how we can then work with the government to implement the PIA and ensure that it delivers the promise that we have uh, with the huge resources or gas resources that we have uh, in Nigeria. Another area, of course, is we need to continuously support the export market. Today we have LNG which is exported from Nigeria, Trend 7 FID has been taken. That also needs to be now delivered. And of course Nigeria also needs to look at how it can supply gas to the regional ECOWAS market. Here we're talking of Ghana, Togo, Benin, all the way to Senegal because they all look onto Nigeria who has its biggest uh, resource base. We need to take gas to industries. Every developing economy relies on industries to drive its growth. And I think that's a key area also that we are focusing on on the NGA. How do we deliver, ensure that players in that sector can deliver gas to more industries in Nigeria? 
help stimulate industrial clusters across the various sectors along the AKK, along the ELPS, along the OBOB lines, along all the major lines. We want to see industrial clusters that would emerge, employ people, and actually manufacture goods here in Nigeria. Finally, of course, it's very important that we deepen local content and we also support professionals in the gas sector. And that's where capacity development is a key area for the NGA. We need to train more professionals in working in the gas sector. We need to retool seasoned professionals who have spent a huge part of their lives working in an oil economy. Oil is now in transition heading downwards, but gas is heading on an upward trend in Nigeria. We need to ensure that we build that right capacity uh, with the right people. Of course, we cannot do this alone. So the NGA is looking with, to work with key stakeholders to collaborate. I mean, key parasitals like the NCDMB, the Petroleum, uh, the PTF, who also is keen to sort of train and uh, help build trainings with different parts of the oil and gas value chain. And we are open and we're sort of continuing to work, uh, work that collaborative space to be sure that we have the right, uh, right number of seasoned professionals that will help support this emerging uh, sector. I think where we are, where we are today has been, has been a result of the engagement and support the members of the NGA have continued to do to sort of work with the government. Uh, today we, we have a, we've seen the, pre the, the minister declare first a year of gas and then the president has declared a decade of gas. It is a realization by government that gas is the future for Nigeria, and the NGA has played a key part in that, uh, in that advocacy. Today we have a burgeoning set of domestic gas players in Nigeria. We have well-developed uh, gas industry, uh, clusters in Lagos, in Ogun State, in Abia, in River State, even in Bayelsa. These things are all done by members of the Nigerian Gas Association collaboratively both with their government stakeholders and with the people and industries who sort of actually then utilize gas to carry out significant production activities in the country. We are not there yet, but we continue to engage a government that is listening, a government that is proactive, and a government that is keen to help us unlock the significant value that exists for Nigerians through gas. I think the, the industry has been anticipating the Petroleum Industry Act for many years. And for us, it is a huge relief that this act has now been signed into law by His Excellency the President of Nigeria. Uh, we are now in the process of attempting to implement the law. Uh, and I think the key bit of what we are seeing, we're seeing rapid progress. Committees for implementation have been formed. We've seen the, the various boards of, of the potential NMPC being set up. The only bit then we're also sort of seeing is a lot of, a lot of these, these these committees and, and boards are all people within the government circle. We need to expand the membership of, of these critical think tanks that would be implementing the PIA to also include people in the private sector and various in industry bodies that would help to ensure that this work can be accelerated and then it is continued on year, year by year. No, I think the, the, the biggest thing we sort of worked with with the, with, the, with the government was sort of putting in place the, the right pricing framework for gas. Excellent work there being done by the minister uh, who, who sort of set up that committee with the NMPC. We've seen for the first time a, a, new, a new now. We've seen now that there is now a pricing for power. Uh, we're hoping that other parts of that pricing regulation would also become clear before the end, uh, before the end of the year. As the NG, I mean, we, we cannot do what we do without our critical partners and stakeholders. Of course, the Ministry of Petroleum is a key, a key stakeholder on what happens in the gas sector. NMPC is also a significant partner. The NCDMB, the Petroleum Trust Fund. We're also, also trying to build collaborations with, with the oil, producing, oil producers trade section, which is the largest group of uh, upstream gas producers. We work very close with the, with the association of gas, power, gas, uh, gas and power generation companies. Because like we've said, power is also a key, a key part of our interest. We stay very close with the association of, uh, of the LPG Association, Nigeria LPG Association, because they also sort of are looking very closely at how we can sort of enable 
the LPG and cooking gas uh, market. But mm -hmm. overall, we cannot do what we do without creating a broad-based network of people who think gas, who breathe gas, who are committed to ensuring that gas is a cleaner fuel of choice in Nigeria. I'm managing director for Shell Nigeria Gas, and Shell has been in Nigeria for over 50 years. We've been very active in various parts of the gas value chain. Uh, our upstream onshore entity is Shell Petroleum Development Company, who still sort of has the largest footprint onshore. There we've, uh, we've basically been responsible for a significant volume of gas being produced in the onshore, uh, onshore market. Uh, the biggest flagship project ongoing there is the Asanot project, which will bring about 300 million scope of gas uh, to the surface once uh, construction is completed. We also have Shell Nigeria Exploration and Production Company, which is our deep water arm, and there we produce like, about 150 million scope of gas, which we, we sort of uh, uh, pipe to, to the LNG facility. We also have, of course, have a critical, a small share in our, we have a share in the LNG project, uh, which we've currently taken train seven. We hope that uh, this would help us sort of continue to grow LNG and position it as one of the top companies in the world, where today it's also one of the biggest LNG, LNG companies uh, globally. We have Shell Nigeria Gas, which is fully and 100% focused in the domestic market, where we build uh, gas lines and infrastructure to industries and manufacturing plants. There our focus is just to see how we can get gas to as many industries, to as many commercial customers as possible to help sort of drive Nigeria's industrialization. I think the, the president has declared 2021 to 2030 as a decade of gas. It's a realization and a significant achievement by the Nigerian government that Nigeria is indeed a gas nation where gas production and consumption needs to be accelerated. Uh, if we were to sort of fast track the next 10 years, I, I sort of foresee how we could say success would mean here that we have been able to close the energy gap and created more reliable power and electricity for more Nigerians uh, in the country. I think it will also be, be important for us to be sure that we also sort of ensure that cooking gas becomes more available more affordable to many Nigerians because this also affects their well-being and economic empowerment directly. These for me are some of the two, uh, two biggest achievements of the decade of gas on one hand. But of course, this will not happen if we do not build the right gas infrastructure. So I am confident that within the decade, if we are able to deliver the OBE, OB3 link line, which will ensure that gas resources in the east are connected to highly paying customers in the West. And we also complete the AKK line, which will take gas to the North and allow a new industrial corridor to emerge. This for me are some of the critical infrastructure that we would also want to achieve via, uh, via the decade of gas aspiration. I, Edu Bong, president of the Nigerian Gas Association, express the industry gratitude to His Excellency President Muhammadu Buhari, President of the Nigerian Federation, for the, for the great focus that has been demonstrated over the development of Nigeria and the gas sector. Over the past two, three years, we have seen significant strides. Uh, the LNG Trail 7 project has taken FID. We have seen the declaration of a year of gas by the Minister of Petroleum Resources. This year, we've seen the declaration of the decade of gas by the president himself. We've also seen the Petroleum Industry Act come into law after so many years. We thank the president and his uh, government for all the support, and we look forward to continuing to work with key stakeholders in government to unlock the significant potential that Nigeria has due to its resources, its people, and the enormous talent we have as a people.